What's going on, everyone? If you have a Dell XPS 15 9570 model, have you ever thought about upgrading it? That's what we're going to do today. So stick around after this amazing intro. <laughs> Welcome back to Easy Choice Reviews, where we do the reviews to help give you the easy choice. Today, instead of doing an unboxing or a review, we're going to be doing an upgrade on the Dell XPS 9570. We're going to upgrade the hard drive, the memory, and the wireless card. Ugh. You're not going to make this video super long and boring again, are you? What are you talking about? You know your viewers want shorter videos. How am I supposed to make a short video on hardware replacement? I don't know. I'm not running this pony show. You are. Okay. What if we split it into three videos? I'm listening. We could do one video for hardware replacement. Okay. We could do a second video for the software install and setup cloning the drive and stuff like that sounds good and then we can make a third video explaining the parts that we used and why we used them you might be onto something let's try it can we move on now yes continue so I will continue this video showing you guys the physical upgrade now I do recommend that you do the software and the cloning before you swap out the hard drive. It just makes it that much easier. I will show that in the second video of the software install. Once I have that uploaded, I will put a link up here somewhere for you guys. You guys can click on that as well as down below. Once we're finished with the software install and cloning, then we'll come back and do the physical upgrade. Okay, you guys, now that we have this hard drive copied, we can go ahead and remove it from here. And we'll go ahead and get the hard drive, the memory, and the wireless card installed. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go ahead and make sure this is powered off completely. I'm gonna turn it around. We've got T5 screw heads on here. We've got three here, three here, two here, two here. And then under this service panel, you've got two Phillips screwdrivers. I have heard that you have to be really careful with these service screws as they strip out pretty easy. Uh, so, We'll do that now. First thing we want to do is disconnect the battery. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six screws, seven screws. And 
then there's a power cable as well that we have to pull right out of here. I'll just set that aside. Now, the reason we disconnected the battery is we don't want any juice flowing through the circuits as we're taking apart the hard drive or the memory. We don't want anything that's gonna cause it to damage any parts. So we take that apart. There's a screw here for the hard drive. Take that out. There's also a double stick tape here for the hard drive or pad. It's like a, it's hard to explain. It's not tape. It's kind of like a gel, but in a hard form that you can remove. So then we're going to take our drive out of here that we, that we had. And I'm going to slide that right in there, right where the old one was. And I'll go ahead and screw that back down. Now you don't need to strip these things. They don't need to be extremely tight. And we'll just lay that right back over that hard drive so it doesn't... Uh... I think this thing helps to dissipate the heat as well. So this, what we can do, uh, we can save it, or this is the 512 hard drive. We can put it in here if we want to, we can erase it and use this as another external drive. That's one of the reasons this pluggable external device is so handy because once you've upgraded to drive like that, you can use it for other purposes. The memory is right here, as you can see. There's a couple of tabs here. Remove that. And a couple of tabs here. Remove that. We'll get our memory. And it looks like they actually sold me the wrong memory for this. They sold me the DDR3, and it should have been DDR4. So we're going to have to have them return this and replace it with the correct stuff. This says DDR4 right on here. So they've got the wrong memory in here. So I'm definitely going to have to give them a call and get that fixed. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and stick this back in here. So we'll have to stay with the 32 gigs of RAM for the moment. But the only difference is you're going to put those in there and just replace what's there. We will do the hard drive here or the wireless card. Take that screw off. And this kind of comes up. And you can shimmy that out just like the hard drive. And then you want to take a flathead preferably and kind of peel these back. Remember which one you have on there. Which, which lead goes where. And we'll put this one right in place of it. Those wires go in just like that. And that, it may actually be easier if we go ahead and put this in.
replace this battery. Okay, let's see what happens. Moment of truth. I'm really bummed out that I was not able to get the memory upgraded. However, I did show you where it was and how to do that. Replaced it with the old memory again. I will be calling Crucial to figure out why their package is incorrect and get the correct memory. Uh, then I will upgrade it at that time. Although I've already shown you how to do it, so I won't need to do a separate video on it. This is booting up great i don't see any issues so far it's not saying that i have any issues with the hard drive or i'm not seeing any differences in the system whatsoever which is what i expected being that i cloned the drive exactly matching the old one so if we go here So it looks like it did just copy the partition. So because the new hard drive that we installed is larger than the one we took out, we will have to use partition magic or some type of other partition manager to change the drive size because it's gonna be the size of the old hard drive because of the drive copy. I will not show that part of it because that's pretty simple to download and you follow the steps and you should be able to do that no problem. Plus there's many YouTubes out there to show you how to do partitioning. I recommend Partition Magic or if you're looking for some type of free software, then you can do something like Paragon Partition Manager. That's a free partition manager and you can use that to resize. I will leave a link down below for that as well as Partition Magic if you choose. I'm gonna go ahead and complete those steps on my own and we'll go ahead and call this upgrade a success. I will leave some links below for the Partition Managers as well as the other videos that I'm creating, one for the software and one for the parts that I've used. I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps you in your upgrade process. If you like this video, go ahead and hit a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. You'll wanna click the bell so you can get the future notifications of any videos that come out. And I hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.